now to a very unique after-school program. It's aimed at helping students achieve their full potential. It's demanding, engaging, and inspiring. I need all Rack It Up Detroit students to meet us at the cafeteria door, please. Jaquea, Caleb, Here. Samantha. Here. And that announcement Demonte. serves up the best part of the day for students in Rack It Up Detroit. Hopefully we can get out of here quickly so we can get to the center and start practice. we got a lot to get through today. Let's stay in one nice line. From and, the Schultz uh, School, they all walk together to the Northwest Activity Center. So you went from a C to an A? Uh-huh. And, and how'd you do that? Study. Then, after a quick chat with the students, it's off to the courts. Very good. This is not your typical after-school program. Here's number one. Nice and soft. Keep your distance. One point. Very nice. Good shot. First the one centerpiece of this program shot. So, is squash, uh, want... a game about patience, control, and discipline. And it's about long-term having a strategy, having goals, and focusing. And you can really see that, that metaphor play out on the court. I'm going to make you run. Ready? Here we go. This is Rack It Up Detroit, and the man behind it is Derek Aguirre. You're going to make me run. Forty students from two schools are in Rack It Up. Those 40 kids will be able to stay in this program all the way through elementary school, middle school, and high school. Each student spends part of three days each week at Detroit's Northwest Activity Center. Nice and soft. There's one hour Beautiful. of squash one and point. fitness. Way to go. I think Courtney got it. It should be apostrophe S. An hour of homework tutoring. You gotta make a space right there. And an hour of literacy development. It's about long-term, very deep, personal, meaningful relationships with kids and families. I feel great because I know that I'm in a safe environment. I like the squash, but the academics helped me in school more. Oh, Rack It Up that. Detroit is modeled after 10 programs oh, like oh. it across the country. Four points. Including one in Boston, where Aguirre spent six That's years. Money. That was a nice shot. If you then left to go to the Harvard Business School. Before that, he went to U of M. He's, he's newer. I, I'm, more, I'm more from the 80s. It was then that he spent time in Detroit, volunteering uh, with nonprofit yeah, organizations. Yeah, I became very passionate about the, the, the struggle and the issues facing the city, but also became a, a real believer in, in the potential of the city. Here we go. So for someone committed to making a difference in the lives of Detroit's Good. youth, why squash? It's about thinking, it's a strategic game, and we, t we always tell the kids that it's very similar uh, in, in how you should approach life. And then you need a space between Ruth Fabro is one of the Racket Up volunteers. She was a math professor at Lawrence Tech. I think we're building a community of uh, students who help each other, who are focused on academics as well as squash. We're going to be here. This is not a one year, this is not a one year experience. It's a long term experience and we're going to be a support. So whatever uh, I can do to, to help open, open doors, find resources, support families, support the schools, that's why, why I'm here. Racket Up Detroit is a nonprofit organization. They're always looking for more squash coaches and also tutors who are skilled at the basic reading, writing, and math skills.